Hey guys, it's Andrew Murray here, and one of the things that I needed to do was I needed to reformat my uh, my Mac uh, recently. So I thought now would be a good time to go over some of the programs that you know you want to have set up on your uh, on your Mac um, right away. Okay, and pretty much um, I'm just going to go through some of the uh, some of the programs here that uh, that we have in the application settings. Okay, so. This you, you really don't need. Uh, it's just a video uh, or a, uh, photo editing software. Um, the app, I mean, a lot of these already come with it. I'll just talk about the ones that, that don't necessarily come with, uh, with it. This is Crap Cleaner. I really like this program um, because it, it, it clears out, um, clears out my, my cookies and everything when I want to do that. And the other thing that it does is when you go over to the applications and you select Flash Player, this will clear your Flash cookies, okay? And uh, that's, you know, normally not selected, but when you clear your Flash cookies, uh, Google tracks you based on Flash cookies. A lot of people don't understand about Flash cookies. It's just something that you want to clear out, particularly if you're if you're going into different, uh, different Google accounts because Google is really trying to, you know, uh, track where, where people are moving. So anyhow, that's just, that's just me being paranoid. Um, so it's not, not super important. Uh, I got a couple uh, programs to do like binaural beats. So if I want to refresh her during the day, you know, I'll listen to, uh, to some stuff here or, or some uh, audios that I have on, on iTunes. Um, what Comment Hut Pro is, is it's just a software that, that, uh, finds places, blogs that are looking for comments and you know allows you to get uh, to get some backlinks. So usually I outsource that, but it's a good little program because it's cross-platform, works on both. Um, clean, not so important, just helps keep your, your desktop clean. Now this is a major one, Evernote. Okay, Evernote is really really critical for organizing all your all your notes. And basically what it allows you to do is to have cross platform syncing of notes, um, also to your mobile devo devices. And I pay for the uh, for the premium version of Evernote, which is like five bucks a month. Very inexpensive, but you know, it's just one of those really, really good programs that for me is is a real baseline for um, uh, for for you know what I need. I usually I have Firefox here. Um, I actually just had to uninstall it. I'm going through some uh, some problems with that. Uh, Final Cut you don't need. Um, go to meeting you don't need unless you do webinars. Uh, Growl is basically other programs use it. Um, not important. HipChat. Okay, this is this is what I use to actually talk to my team. So I have a couple core outsourcers that I usually talk to and I like doing, you know, chatting with them um, in real time without having to go into my email. Because often when you go into your email, there's a link from Facebook, it's a distraction, or there's, you know, other messages. So I like to do my chatting with my team through uh, through HipChat. Uh, IDVD, iMovie, iPhoto, those are all from the iLife uh, sequence uh, or iLife uh, you know, default that usually comes with, with your Mac. Um, I don't use this uh, mail program. Market Samurai I still use. I find that's a really good, uh, really good program. And uh, Mindomo is my favorite mind mapping software. Really good cross, uh, cross platform mind mapping. Uh, what else did I install? M Player X is a, is another free program, you know, very good for, um, uh, playing all kinds of videos. This is just a timer. Um, I'm a fan of the uh, Pomodoro technique where basically you block some time and, and have a timer ticking down and then you have a break. Okay, um, that's that's you know a core benefit of that will make you more productive. Um, Opera uses my backup browser. Alright, so this little program here, Omrider, great, great program. Uh, basically what it does is I'll just show you. What it does is it plays some like chill out music while you're typing. Very minimalist, 
uh, background. You can you can you know change it up a bit. Um, you can turn the music off if you think it's a distraction. But I actually find that it helps me really focus on uh, writing. So cool program. I wanted to share that with you. Um, ScreenFlow is what I'm using to record this. It's a great program for uh, screen recording on the Mac, my favorite. Uh, Snagit also does screen recordings and it also does uh, images, but if you want to be able to blur images, if you want to be able to uh, clip stuff off and you know put up screenshots, um, this is a program that you want to use to, uh, to do that. Um, Text edit comes with it. Text uh, text made is is uh, paid. Text wrangler is free, so those are all text editors. Um, you know, you're probably not going to need uh, need all those. The unarchiver, um, I believe, is free. It's it's um, programmed to extract stuff. This uh, you don't need. I do most of my to dos on um, online uh, torrent software. App Zapper is just you know, fully erases an app when you don't use it. And then transmit is, I always thought FTP programs were pretty much, you know, the same. But this is a great program because it does, um, it allows you to do FTP and also your, your Amazon S3 account. So you can just save that and just boom, you know, uh, put stuff up there real quick. And um, yeah, good. So, so those are pretty much all that I have when I, when I start out on the computer and I hope this video was was helpful and and you know gave you some idea of some of the some of the programs that you could be using on your new Mac. Thanks.